Hi everybody, I'm Tim Anderson, MasterChef Champion. Welcome to City Suppers. Today, I'll be showing you how to cook a Japanese casual dining classic, which is called yakitori, which simply means grilled chicken skewers. It's easy and it's absolutely delicious. So the crux of a good yakitori is a good tare, and tare just means a marinade or a sauce, and that'll become a sort of sticky, sweet, salty glaze when we grill it. So for the marinade, you will need a Thai green chili, a clove of garlic, and a little bit of ginger to start. So we'll start with the chili, and we'll just cut it down the middle. Now you can scrape the seeds out if you like but I'm going to leave them in there because that's where all the heat is and I like it spicy. So we'll just run the knife through quickly, nice and fine. Then we'll do the garlic, give it a smash, and the same real quick mince. And then a little chunk of ginger. So we're starting with uh, chili garlic and ginger, so if you think all Japanese food is sort of uh, delicate in flavor, then wait till you try this. And uh, if you want to try this at home, you can get the full list of ingredients in the description box below the video. And we'll slice this across the grain first. So garlic, chili, ginger, the holy trinity of many Asian dishes. And to that, we're going to add a good glug of soy sauce, some rice vinegar, just a splash, and some mirin. If you don't have mirin, uh, you can add a little bit of sugar to this, and then just a little touch of sesame oil, which will help it from sticking to the pan and also gives it a really nice, rich, nutty flavor. So stir that up. And that's your marinade. And by the way, this marinade here, with just these seven ingredients, is amazing for all kinds of things. You can do fish, pork, chicken, beef, whatever. Uh, Korean barbecue uses a really similar marinade. Right. Then, chicken, of course. I've got chicken thighs here, which have been boned and skinned. So thighs, we're going to cut these into bite-sized pieces. So sort of into thirds first. Those go straight into the marinade. All right, now get your hands in there and just make sure they're evenly coated. God, it looks good already. So if you can, it's best to marinate this overnight or maybe throw it together in the morning and marinate it while you're away at work and have it for dinner that night. But if you don't have time for that or you don't have the right ingredients, you can just let it sit for 30 minutes to an hour and it'll pick up the flavor nicely. We'll be basting it with that glaze as well as it cooks, so you'll get the flavor that way. So before we start skewering, we're going to prep our spring onions. Now we're only going to use the uh, thicker white end of the spring onions right now. Save the green bits, we'll use them later. So our chicken has been marinating for a little while. It's ready to go. And now we're gonna start threading the skewers. The skewers have been soaking in water, which will help prevent them burning under the grill. So I've got a tray here, lined with foil, just really to ease cleanup. And all we'll do is grab our chicken, put a couple chunks on, like so. Spring onion or two. Whoop. And you just carry on alternating like this to the very end. So before they go under the grill, I've just got a brush here. You can use a spoon as well if you don't have a pastry brush. Just gonna dab a little bit more of that on there. And I'm gonna do this again periodically while they're cooking. They'll take about five minutes on each side, and uh, on each side you should baste it about twice, so every two minutes or so. These have been in for just a couple minutes, just applying more of the tare, the sauce, and then back in. They're already looking gorgeous.
and then another two minutes, we'll baste them again, then another minute or so, flip them over, and carry on going. All right, so while these are cooking, I'm gonna prep up a little salad to go with it. So I'm gonna take my green spring onion tops, slice them really thinly, and I've got a bowl here of some lamb's lettuce. You can use pea shoots or uh, sort of curly leaf lettuce, something that's kind of, some greens that are tender and nutty, I think work well with this. So to that, we'll add a little bit of our rice vinegar, again, just a little bit. Splash of soy sauce. And a drop or two of sesame oil. Give it a toss. These have been under the grill on one side uh, for five minutes or so, and I've basted them twice. I'm just going to turn them over, baste them again, and then back under the grill, they go for another four or five minutes. So if you're enjoying uh, City Suppers and these recipes, leave a comment below or give us a tweet at Video Jug Food. We'd love to hear from you. Oh yeah. So these are all good to go. They brown slightly in bits. They're nice and plump and juicy still. And all that's left to do is plate up. We'll grab a handful of our salad and our skewers off to the side. Garnish it with a little bit of toasted sesame seed. And by the way, you should toast your sesame seeds. It makes a huge difference in flavor. So there you go, yakitori with a little lamb's lettuce salad. I hope to see you again for another episode of City Suppers.